Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrich Vox, and Steven Universe may be coming to an end very soon, considering as much has been spelt out in the title of the new art book, with more details lying within this description. I'm going to explain everything you need to know about this art book, why Steven Universe as a television series may truly be over, and why there's a glimmer of hope for more. With all that said, let's dive in. Alright, so our story begins at a new art book listing that has surfaced on Abram Books, the company that has published many books for the series, but this one is titled Steven Universe End of an Era by Chris McDonnell, illustrated by Rebecca Sugar, and a foreword by N.K. Jemison. For $29.99, you'll be able to receive 240 pages, jam-packed with 300 four-color illustrations in a hardcover format, although ebook will also be available. The description for the book reads, The official sequel to the best-selling Steven Universe, Arden Origins. Steven Universe, End of an Era, is the eagerly anticipated follow-up to the best-selling behind-the-scenes companion book, Steven Universe, Arden Origins, showcasing new concept art, storyboards, background paintings, and exclusive interviews. End of an Era will update the history of the Emmy Award-winning series to cover Season 4 through to the critically acclaimed finale, Change Your Mind and Beyond. Fans can expect a special focus on creator and showrunner Rebecca Sugar's elaborate process for creating the lore of the series, as she and the crew reveal how they discovered and developed the complete story arc for each character, as well as how they are able to design a show that so refreshingly captures and celebrates the experience of childhood. Steven Universe, End of an Era is a heartfelt send-off to one of the most progressive, imaginative, and beloved animated series of our time. So yeah, this sounds pretty final. To debunk any doubts that this is coming from a legitimate source, once again, this company has published the first art book, Art and Origins, and more recently, the Story of Steven recap book, and the page for this end of an era listing provides you with plenty of pre-order options, ranging from Amazon to Barnes & Noble, although the pages on the website proper are not yet available at the time of the recording. Woo, a lot to unpack here. If Steven Universe is over, I I'd be more than content. We got 160 episodes and a movie, alongside a few video games. Most franchises, especially animated, do not make it that far at all. Should we take this at face value? And you guys know this channel, there's always reason to doubt. Terms and phrases such as complete story arc for each character and heartfelt send off isn't something you throw around if the show is far from over. Yet there are some things in this book's description that doesn't add up to the things that are flat out in plain sight. Revisiting real quick, the description does state, End of an Era will update the history of the Emmy Award winning series to cover season 4 through the critically acclaimed finale Change Your Mind and Beyond. So yeah, while the original art book barely scratched the surface of Season 4, cutting off concept art at the zoo arc, aka the halfway point, they state here that Change Your Mind is the critically acclaimed finale, not season finale, not hour-long special, just finale, making it sound as if the show is already over. This contradicts not only the many, many statements from the Crewniverse that Change Your Mind was only a season finale, but it goes against the existence of the sixth season entirely, which we know exists from the Crewniverse casually mentioning the next season at San Diego Comic Con 2019 to Zach Callison flat out stating it exists in interviews. Have you recorded any episodes for season six? I, okay, so I don't even know like what's public or not but I, i'm pretty sure people know that we've been posting like studio photos from me on instagram like we've been in the studio yeah um i don't i don't know they've, they've not instructed me to say anything or nothing they haven't told me anything on what is in the the blogosphere about season six so i'm just gonna say it yeah <laughs> If I get a strongly worded email, that's, I'll deal with that later. Though, keep in mind, The Amazing World of Gumball is over, and Cartoon Network did not advertise its finale as, well, a finale. Although that may be because there's more on the table with his cliffhanger ending, but keep in mind, they have ended shows and advertised its final episode without saying as much before. So what if season 6 is the final season? The main conflict of the series has been resolved, and they can just use the next season to completely resolve any loose ends, not tackled in the movie, before parting ways with the audience. So, it's very likely. Right now, Mr. Callison is on vacation, traveling the world, and to paraphrase his own words, temporarily stepping away from the industry. Which makes me think production on whatever Steven Universe thing they've been cooking up alongside and after the movie will be wrapping production sooner rather than later. Though, keep in mind, with how long it takes animation to arrive from overseas, they'd still need to ADR some dialogue, fit in some pickups here and there, so voice acting wouldn't be completed for a while. But truthfully, I think 
Zach's vacation and break from the industry is just a personal thing, unrelated to the status of the show. And thus, I hope he's having a good break from everything. Another thing worth looking into is the lack of Cartoon Network actually discussing the future of Steven Universe at all. They've been quiet on the movie and the upcoming season, not even acknowledging the latter at the time of recording this. All they said was, informing Polygon, the television movie is not the end of Steven Universe. There is more Steven to come. Mmm, more Steven to come? Homie, you're releasing an art book saying the show's over. Which leads me to another option, one I've suggested many, many times before on this channel. Steven Universe is rebranding, a la Naruto Shippuden, or Ben 10 Alien Force, or Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, Ben 10 Omniverse, Ben 10 Into the Omniverse, or my favorite, a pup named Ben 10. Steven is 16 years old now. The characters have gone through drastic changes, both in behavior and design. Now more than ever, it makes sense to end Steven Universe in order to follow it up with something else still in the world of Steven Universe, still focusing on Steven, but with a different title slapped onto it. This book, End of an Era, isn't calling Steven Universe as a whole the end of an era, but rather the first five seasons. Now guys, all of this is more likely than you may think. From the crew referring to Change Your Mind as a season finale, to the notion that there's more on the way. Let's also not forget Ian Jones Cordy's own words that lead into the idea of a rebrand as well, taken from the Steven Universe podcast. I really hope that, you know, if you're the kind of person who is waiting to watch like more stuff, is that you don't think of this of the break between change your mind and what comes next as like you're waiting for more of this show because this version of it is is done you know yeah. there's gonna be more it's gonna be, but yeah. it's gonna be different and it's gonna be something new there's a lot more to do you know we're not coming back here because steven has really figured something out about himself and so this part of the story is you know yeah that's it yeah a review for the movie also surfaced from comicbook.com, which has some interesting pieces of information to consider. The film practically puts Steven back to square one during the course of its 90 minute runtime, but it only ever makes him more resolved to keep pushing forward despite it. There's more Steven of some sort coming, as Cartoon Eric has confirmed as much previously, but what exactly that looks like remains to be seen. The film, however, sets a new status quo, which began at the end of the show's fifth season, by recommitting to its core tenets. Love is powerful, compassion is a show of strength, and change is often to be celebrated. Whatever comes next is with these three things in mind. So this review indicates that the movie will end in a spot where suddenly conflicts aren't resolved, things aren't at peace. Steven doesn't have his happily ever after just yet, which makes sense as to track this for the film, breakdown coming soon, has a track near the end titled, There Is No Happily Ever After, calling back to Steven's line in the trailer, I want my happily ever after back. So I can buy that the movie won't be a clean cut end of the timeline that there's definitely more stories to tell afterwards. Truthfully, while I am fine with the show ending soon, a sequel series would be great and again, still in the cards. I think there's still a lot more to do with the world of Steven Universe. I think there are new antagonists that can be introduced, old foes that can really be carved out and reestablished as new friends. But there's a bigger thing that really throws a wrench into this whole entire book's description, and it lies on the page itself. It's release date, July 2020. From following Steven Universe since 2015, it's hard to fathom that, with Cartoon Network's track record of hiatuses, and the fact that Steven Universe still brings in good ratings, and an age where Cable is on his way out the door, that Cartoon Network would burn through all of Season 6 by next July. I can't even see the season starting until 2020 proper. It's possible they'll throw us a bone, I'd love for Season 6 to start this year, but I'm not buying that the network will change their tune and get a more consistent airing schedule for their most popular currently running original, when it's at its end. Especially with Sugar's recent comments that her mind is completely focused on Steven at the moment. Would you say that when the series is wrapping up? But as always, these are just my thoughts and I'd love to hear yours. What do you think? Do you believe Steve Universe is coming to an end? Why or why not? Let us know. Team Season 6 is the end or Team Rebrand? Drop those thoughts in the comments or tweet your thoughts at Rontable Vids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Autry Thoughts. We're also on Instagram. Help learn to grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to The Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Autry Thoughts, signing out.